Hello viewers, we thank God for giving us another opportunity of being alive today. It is not by works, it's not by might, it's not by anything from man, but the mercies of God that endures forever. May his name be praised forever in Jesus' name. We welcome you to this wonderful day. The day the Lord has made, we will rejoice and be glad in it. We bless his holy name. We say, may his name be praised in Jesus' name. This is coming to you from Family Outreach Ministry and Foundation. We want to bless God concerning you there and for you giving it every time to listen to this program. May the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Shall we just pray? O oh Lord, our God, how excellent is your name. Father, we are grateful unto you. Thank you for this rare privilege, O oh God. Another wonderful time in the land of the living. Another Christmas around. We lift you up. We exalt you. We bless you. Thank you for your love. The love of God that made you to come to this sinful world just for us oh god ah we are grateful thank you for that love thank you for your coming at this season and thank you for the blessings attached to it we lift you up we exalt you be that exalted forevermore in the name of jesus today oh god we are at your feet ready to hear from you that gift you have for us at this season oh god this Christmas time. Lord, release your gift unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. The world that we uphold, the world that we keep, the world that we sustain, we are ready for you to go. Release unto us in the name of Jesus. Amen. And your name alone be glorified. Just take your place, O oh God, and we shall follow you. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. You are welcome in Jesus' name. Oh, we say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. That you are witnessing another one. I am witnessing every one of us is seeing another Christmas. We want to say Merry Christmas. It's not that we are good than those who had left. But no one can query God. The Bible says he's seated on high doing what please him. I just say Merry Christmas once again. Why Christmas? This only begotten Son of God. Some people do not like hearing that. But he's the only begotten son of God. And what we have experienced in him tells us that is a child, the only begotten son of God. And why did he come? After man had sinned, and God drove out mankind from that beautiful palace, Garden of Eden, that he created us in. Jesus Christ is 
Because that was not the main purpose of God creating man. He was looking for a way out for us. I want to say congratulations to every one of us. Because somebody opted to say, send me, I will go. He knew all the pains he will go through. He knew the persecution that will be given to him. Because he's been there with his father. But he counted all that as if they were nothing. He came. He was born in a manger. And this man, Jesus Christ, perfected the work of our salvation as her Messiah. That is why you and I can say we know and we have given our lives to him. He came that you and I will not end it up in hell. The man Jesus Christ, the Messiah, came that we can experience new life in him. I'll be back after this time out. Once upon a time, a boy named Joseph had a dream. Hey, Mom, you scared me. Joseph, why are you smiling in your sleep? Mom, I had a dream. Uh -huh. I saw myself in a new school. Uh -huh. Mom, I found myself in the midst of geniuses with the best teachers in the world. And? Anyways, I have been considering the school for a secondary school education. Interguide Academy is well equipped with international standard education facilities for enhanced learning experience every child should have in their formative years. Interguide Academy is a perfect learning environment with beautiful classrooms, well equipped libraries, world class science technologies, and home economics laboratories. Interguide Academy is well equipped with experienced teachers who fully understand the psychology of teaching and learning. Interguide Academy is located at Number 6 and 8, Toy Street, Ikeja, Lagos. Phone number 0810-785-6110. Website www.interguideschools.com You are welcome back. We were talking about why Jesus Christ came to this Woeful world. He came to save us. He came to deliver us from the sting of death. He came to deliver us so that we can know that there is a better life than the life of sin. Jesus Christ came, oh, he volunteered his life. He came as a baby. He lived on this earth. And he was under the tutelage of his mother and his father. What a wonderful man he is. 
he went through it like a baby so he knew when little babies are going through certain things he came and he passed through adulthood he knew what adults are passing through. What a Messiah. Why do we need to give thanks to him? We have a lot of reasons to be grateful to him. No matter what you have gone through this year, maybe you have gone through some affliction, sickness, aches, pain of a loved one. Maybe you've been asking God for certain things and it looks that answer is not coming forth. All seem dark. Oh, you have prayed and it looks as if you have not prayed. And now you don't even know how to praise God. No matter what you have gone through this year. Oh, maybe your job was taken from you. And we all know what is going on in our world now. Stress. Lack of money. Some cannot eat two times a day. Things are getting extremely too expensive. Your places of work are not adding anything to your salary. You are looking at every side. It looks there is no solution coming from any side. Oh, and you are concluding that what are you going to thank God for? We have a lot of things to thank God for. Oh, we have to thank God for his mercies and Dios forever. You slept every day and the following morning you woke up beautifully. Yes, you have not gotten what you are asking for. That you slept and woke up, you should thank God for it. I am telling you, you went to the toilet. You can wee. You can poo. Oh, we should not take him for granted. That you can take a muscle or a spoon of rice, eat, and you can eat it. It is digesting. It calls for thanksgiving. Even if you are taking Gary two times a day, that, that you are taking it and it is digesting, you need to thank God for it. God wants us to thank him. And for sending Jesus, we must be appreciated. 
You can walk from one place to the other. You are not on the bed. You can lift up your hands. Though the hand may be paining you, but you can lift it up. For his manifold blessing, see it that at this Christmas you must thank God. Psalm 100 verse 4b says, Be thankful unto him. There is a need for you to thank God. We'll be back after this time out. Golf View Hotel and Suites gives you a free view of golf games going on live on the KJ Golf Court from the comfort of the hotel rooms, especially the VIP rooftop lounge. The rooms are exclusively luxurious, easily accessible about five minutes drive from the local airport and approximately 10 minutes from Murtala Mohammed International Airport. Golf View Hotel and Suites is situated at number 12, General Adeyinka Adebayo Road, GRA KJ Lagos. Call 0700 Golf View and 07000 Golf Golf View for reservation. Golf View Hotel and Suite. A bright and beautiful magic collection. Well, welcome back. Before the break, we were talking that we must give thanks to God. Because it is good for us to thank God. Do when we thank God, a lot of things that Jesus Christ, the reason for this period, He can meet that need in your life. Psalm 95 verse 2 says, Come before His presence with Thanksgiving. He wants us to come with thanksgiving. Somebody gave his life for something to happen in your life. Colossians 3 2, verse 15b says the same thing. Says, be thankful. He wants us to be thankful. If Jesus gave his life, he wants, he wants you to give him to something. And the only thing we can give to him is thanks. We can praise him. Adore him. Worship him. For he deemed it fit to come and sacrifice his life for you and me. Jesus is the reason for this season. He came for you and me. If he gives his life, then what are you going to give to him back? You cannot give him money. Even when you go to church and spend millions there, we are using it for the edification of the church. Let me tell you what you can give him that he will be satisfied. I'm not saying giving to God is not good, it's okay, because it's part of our assignment as children of God. But that which is very important that you will not take him for granted 
is for you to open your mouth in praise and praise the Almighty God. Open your mouth. Give him your thanks. All the gifts you have bought in this Christmas to give your uncle, your daughter, your son, your this, your that is good. Because we want to appreciate ourselves for what we have done. But the most important thing, because he gave his life for us as a ransom, we too, he is expecting our praise. The, the gift you bought for yourselves, can you give it to Jesus? No. The hamper you bought, how would you send it to Jesus? For coming to this world to pay for your sins. For putting his righteousness upon us. And now you have a clean slate before the heavens. Because he has done all this since you have some personal need, yes. We must learn to give something back to him. And what is that thing that is expecting from us? Thanksgiving. Christmas Day. You have bought dresses you want to wear to the church for Christmas. Oh, you bought the one you want to use in the new year. But have you given him thanks? This season we give and take. Jesus gave his, his he came to this world. For what reason? For you and me. What are you going to give to him at Christmas? Your chicken he cannot eat. The turkey he cannot eat with you. But one thing that we can give to him is to praise him. And be thankful unto him. Showing gratitude from the best of our being. That many years ago, this man taught it fit to give his life. He came in the likeness of man. Just give him praise. Thank him. Bless his holy name. That is what you can give to him for coming to this world. My listener, what have you prepared to give to Jesus this Christmas season? Don't you see the uniqueness in the person of Christ? Very unique. Look at the season. It's a beautiful season. This man is unique. He's awesome. And so he wants you to give him praise. 
No matter what you have gone through this year, please learn to say thank you. I want to say Merry Christmas to you. And the, and the Christmas, we will not do something that will make him angry. From I, your regular hostess, Bisi Oluo and Remy Afolabi, we say Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas.